Welcome to the CSE Hill. In this session, we will discuss traveling salesman problem using dynamic programming approach, a simple method. The problem is solve the following TSP, which is represented as a graph, where the cities are represented as P, Q, R, and S, and the distance between various cities are represented as numbers on each of the H. In the graph, they have given four vertices, that is, four cities, and its corresponding distance also they have given. Okay, so P to Q as well as Q to P, the distance is 30. Both the directions, the same cost only in this example. Similarly, Q to S and S to Q, 10. R to S and S to R, 20. Likewise, we need to consider. So, first step, we need to construct the cost adjacency matrix for this given graph. And here, if you are considering in the sense, the vertex P will be considered as 1 and Q will be considered as 2. R will be considered as 3 and S will be considered as 4. Okay. Usually, the first vertex we will consider it as a starting vertex. So, consider it as 1. So, for easy implementation, we will consider the vertices like 1, 2, 3. Okay. And now, we will fill the cost adjacency matrix. 1, 2, 1, it is a cycle 0. Similarly, 2, 2, 2, 0, 3, 2, 3 and 4, 2, 4. All the values will be 0. Next, 1, 2, 2, that is P, 2, Q. Cost is 30. Similarly, 2 to 1 also cost is 30. Okay. And 1 to 3 cost is 6. And 1 to 4 cost is 4. Similarly, 2 to 1 cost is 30. 2 to 3. 2 to 3 cost is 5. And 2 to 4 it is 10. Okay. And 3 to 1 cost is 6. 3 to 2 cost is 5. And 3 to 4 cost is 20. And 4 to 1 cost is 4, 4 to 2 cost is 10, and 4 to 3 cost is 20. So, this is the cost adjacency matrix. The same problem in the previous session we have implemented in tabulation method. Okay, like case 1, case 2, case 3 we have considered and for each case we have considered the root and its cost we have calculated. Now, the same problem we are going to implement like a state space tree. Okay, a simple approach to solve it. This will help to understand better compared to the tabulation method. Okay, so now here if you are considering in the sense, the function we are going to use in traveling salesman problem is g of i comma s is minimum of j belongs to s c i j plus g of j comma s minus j. Okay, so this is the function throughout the problem we are going to use and uh, this function we will implement like a state space tree in every level. Okay, so here if we are considering in the sense of first start with the source vertex. So here if we are considering P will be considered as vertex 1, Q is vertex 2, R is 3 and S is 4. Likewise we need to consider. So start with the source vertex that is vertex 1. Okay, what is traveling salesman problem? The salesman will start from one city that will be considered as the source city. From that city, he has to visit all other cities in the given graph exactly only once. And finally, he has to return back to the starting city. That is nothing but traveling salesman problem. So here the starting city will be considered as P, that is for 1. Okay. So from 1, he has to visit 2, 3 and 4 exactly only once and come back to the starting city. Okay. So from 1, the choice may be he may visit 2, that is Q, or he may visit 3, or he may visit 4, okay? So, the choice may be 2, 3, or 4, okay? And here, if you are considering in the sense, each level, we will implement this function, okay? That is C of I, J. So, here, C of I is 1 and J is 2, okay? Starting city is 1 and currently, he is going to visit 2. Okay, C12. After visiting 2, what is the remaining cities? That is 3 and 4 or N. Okay, similarly, here if you are considering, this is C13 plus G of after visiting 3, what is the remaining cities? It may be 2 or 4. Okay, 
in any order he can visit but he has to visit exactly only once that is the meaning okay so here c14 plus g of 4 comma the remaining cities will be 2 and 3 okay and here if you are considering cost to travel from 1 to 2 1 to 2 cost is 30 plus this function we need to find and 1 to 3 cost is 6 and 1 to 4 cost is 4 and in this function we are going to find the next level next up after visiting 2 started from 1 after visiting 2, the salesman can move to 3 or 4, okay? Either he may choose to visit 3 or 4, okay? Here, if you are considering in the sense, starting from first city, after that, he is visiting 3. Next choice may be 2 or 4, okay? Similarly, here, started from first city, now he is visiting fourth city, choice may be 2 or 3, okay? Now, this function we need to calculate. That is the cost we need to calculate here. So, here we are considering this, this function we have to implement. That is CIG. C223, C223 plus G of after visiting 3, what is the remaining city? It is 4. Similarly, here if you are considering this is cost C224 plus G of after visiting 4, what is the remaining city? may be 3 and here C223 plus G of 3 comma after visiting 3 in this in this path of we are considering 4 is remaining okay so similarly here C324 plus G of 4 comma the remaining city to be visited here is 2 and here C422 plus G of 2 comma after visiting 2 3 is remaining here C423 plus G of after visiting 3 what is remaining in this path we need to consider 2 is remaining okay and here if you are considering this cost we know okay only this function we need to calculate in next level so C223 cost is 5 plus and C224 cost is 10 and here C223 sorry here it is 3 to 2 okay 3 to both value is same only okay so C322 cost is 5 plus and C324 cost is 20 and C422 cost is 10 C423 cost is 20 and these functions we need to calculate it next level and next level if you are considering started from first city visited second city and then visited third city and what is remaining now fourth city is remaining similarly this path if you are considering third city is remaining okay this path if you are considering fourth city is remaining and this path if you are considering it is second city is remaining and this path third city is remaining and this path if you are considering second city is remaining. And here we need to calculate the cost. That is C324 plus G of after visiting 4. What is the remaining city? Nothing to be visited. In the given graph, all the 4 cities we have visited. What to do next? Need to come back to the starting city next. Okay. So, no more new city to be visited here. So, it is 5. And here, similarly, C423 plus G of 3 comma after visiting third city what is remaining nothing next here c 224 plus g of after visiting fourth city nothing is remaining similarly here c 422 plus g of 2 comma 5 and here c 223 plus g of 3 comma 5 and here c 322 plus g of 2 comma 5 and here C324 cost is 20. Okay. And C423 cost is 20. And here C224 cost is 10. And 422 cost is 10. And here C223 cost is 5. And 322 also cost is 5. And next, if you are considering, started from first city, visited all the other cities, and finally he has to come back to the starting city. Similarly, here also, if you are considering all the cities we have visited, come back to the starting city. So, all this case finally come back to the starting city. Okay. So, starting city is 1. That will be considered as the source city. Now, this path is C4 to 1. Okay. What is the cost? 4 to 1. It is 4. 
okay and here this is c 3 to 1 cost is 6 and this is c 4 to 1 cost is 4 and this is c 2 to 1 cost is 30 and this is c 3 to 1 cost is 6 and this is c 2 to 1 cost is 30. So now this function cost is nothing but this one. Okay, so we will implement this cost. So 20 plus 4, we will get it as 24. And here 20 plus 6, we will get it as 26. And here 10 plus 4, it is 14. And here it is 10 plus 30, we will get it as 40. And here it is 5 plus 6, it is 11. And here it is 5 plus 30, it is 35. Okay, so this function cost is nothing but we have calculated here. We know the cost. So we have to move upward and fill the function values, whatever we have found out in the next level. Okay, and this is the value for this function. Okay, this is the value for this function. So we will implement here. Okay, so this value apply to the previous level function. So 5 plus this function cost is 24. So here we will get it as 29. And here this function cost is 26. So here we will get it as 36. And this is 5 plus 14, 19. And this is 20 plus 40, that is 60. And this function cost is 11. So 10 plus 11, we will get it as 21. And this function cost is 35. So here we will get it as 55. Okay. Now this function cost we have to apply to the previous level. And here what we have to do it in the sense, after visiting the second city, there are two choices. It may be third city or it may be fourth city. But what is the objective of traveling salesman problem? We need to consider the minimum cost. So after visiting the second city, which tour cost is minimum that we have to consider and that city to be visited next okay so here we are considering 29 is minimum so here we will get it as 59 and here this function cost minimum value was 19 or 60 19 is minimum so here we will get it as 25 and here if we are considering 21 or 45 21 is minimum so here we will get it as 25 okay so both the route they got 25 only. okay any route he may choose so if you are considering from the starting city consider minimum of these three. Which two cost is minimum? That we need to consider. So, minimum two cost is nothing but 25. So, this is the minimum two cost. So, here the optimal path is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4 and 4, 2, 1. Okay, and that is 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4 and 4, 2, 1 and this cost is 25. Okay, similarly, one more route also the same cost only, minimum cost only. That also he can choose. That is 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 2, 1. And this tour also will provide the minimum cost 25 only. Both will provide optimal path only. Anyone he can choose to travel. Okay. So, this is nothing but traveling salesman problem using dynamic programming approach. A simple method by implementing the state space tree. The state space tree I will provide for understanding purpose. Okay. How to calculate the function easily. Tabulation method it will be a lengthy process. So, it is difficult to understand. And here, if you are considering, it is a pictorial representation. It is easy to understand. So that I am providing this method. But this is only for understanding purpose. Exam point of view, you have to implement the tabulation method. Thank you for watching this video.